Hey guys, Zarek here, and today we are back with another video, and we are back on Skyrim Special Edition. I haven't actually played Skyrim for a hell of a long time, as you can see, I still have the Soul Reaver uh, Sword Axe thing from last mod episode. But we're going to do another mod episode here today. Um, in the next following weeks, uh, I'm probably going to be alternating between Skyrim mods and a series that I'm going to bring back. Um, I haven't quite thought everything out yet. Uh, but my intention is to bring a series back that I did back in October of last year and haven't really touched since um, and that will be coinciding with the finale of the Inform 7 tutorials um, if you guys haven't checked that out go and check that out but anyway enough of that aside let's get to the mods so today we're going to be going over three mods um, in particular um, actually four mods um, now one of them I'm pretty sure every single person in the entire world will know of um, and the others well one of them I recently just got from the Bethesda market uh, Bethesda.net mod place thing um, one of them I got from Nexus and one of them I got a while ago from um, Bethesda.net I think uh, so we're gonna go to White Run here and I'm going to show you two mods in one. The one which everyone will know. And the one which I think is pretty damn cool. Um, maybe not as much in immersion. But it is pretty cool. Um, so let me wait for like 13 hours or so. I need to get loads of people in the, the village. In the town of Whiterun. Is that a village or is it a town? I think it's a village in it. Or is it a city? I don't know. I would say it's a village because of the time uh, time period. Alright, so you can see we've got Bellafort, we've got guards here, there and everywhere. And we've got people in their market, coming to their market stores now, coming out of the inn from absolutely nowhere. Oh, and um, yeah, we're going to show two mods. So these are going to be both werewolf mods. Um, one of them is a were tiger um, replacer. There's also a xenomorph replacer. As far as I'm aware, there might be the only replacers on here at the moment, but there is loads of others on the normal Skyrim. And then the other one is a pretty, pretty cool one, which means that if you're uh, reputable, I think the word is, uh, basically if you're respected and known enough in a city, they will not attack you as a werewolf. Now, I haven't actually tested to see whether if you attack them, they then attack back. So that's going to be pretty interesting to do. So we're going to go to Q. We're going to go to Beast Form here. And... Theoretically, if the mod still works, um, I shouldn't be attacked. Yeah, so Misty Stones are removed and whatnot. As you can see, no one's attacking me. Someone wants me to put some clothes on. I'm a wear tiger. You haven't done nothing. Apparently, I smell like a hound. I'm a tiger. Thank you. Um, so, we're going to... Um, actually, before we do that, um, I'm going to show you another little cool feature. So, one thing that the mod uh, creators did, and I think they've done a couple more things I forgot because I haven't looked at the mod for a while, um, is they allowed you to look at your f um, favorites list and you can choose dragon um, shouts. You can't do, you can choose spells but you can't really use them and like you can put um, weapons on but I, I think the, um, if you put weapons on the actual attack damage is the weapon damage rather than the werewolf claw damage. Um, but the shouts you can definitely use, so as you can see here, I can use that and I now have dragon aspect. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to see whether if I attack someone it should still uh, make me attack I guess. No? No? He didn't? Alright, I'm going to kill move because I'm pretty sure I've got violence kill moves on. Enhance blood. No, no one really gives a shit. Oh, no, now nah, they give a shit. Now nah, they give a shit. Right, so we're just going to uh, load the auto Skyrim save back up. So, that's a really, really cool mod. It might kind of breaks immersion a bit, but it's also really, uh, I wouldn't say helpful, but if you just want to run around as a werewolf the whole time, without using a um, werewolf uh, playable race, which sometimes can break, I uh, don't know whether there's actually a wealth player race in Skyrim yet, but I know a uh, special edition yet, but I know there is one in normal Skyrim, um, which was quite kind of broken. 
Um, so if you want to do that, that is a pretty fun mod. It's uh, two kilobytes, I believe, um, off Nexus. So hopefully I'll put the links down in the description, like all the time. Um, where is it? There you go. Here seems champion 2.76 meg. Uh, get the kilobytes. What the hell am I saying, meg? Um, so yeah, it's quite a nice little mod. Uh, you can pretty much badass dragons with that, you know, use dragon aspect uh, as a werewolf, which would be pretty damn cool. Uh, so the next mod is going to be one that we apparently get from over here. This is the newest one I just got. So I've got to try and find it now. Um, where the hell are you? Oh, loads of things are not in here. I thought it was in here. Okay. There was one other place it could be and I can't remember. I was in a rift in. So it looks like we'll go to rift in. I thought they said that it was in here as well. I'm just going to make sure I definitely, it hasn't like auto put it on there. Um. I think I show you loads of these spells beforehand. Uh, I forgot. If not, that'll be for the next episode. Um, oh, it doesn't look like they're in here, so it's in here. It's one spell. One spell. That's all I'm looking for. Um, it's in Rift. And so actually, I can get it up on my mods list. I love how I've got the mods list. So if you um, if you go in from Professor, which luckily this one is, uh, you can see the descriptions and stuff. So it's this one. Uh, for summonable, invulnerable firewolf. If someone's lost an app, you can unsummon him using the conjuration spell. Fast travels, except from follows when you're allowed. Uh, you may not enter the doors. He's also not going to sweep it. Uh, whatever. Um, Mist Veil, keep rifting. Ah, that's why I, I read that. I read Court Wizard. Um, okay, so it's in the keep in rifting. So let's go down to Rift Hen and Miss Fail Keep. And we'll go and get this one. Now, the third mod after this, um, I don't know how much of it I'm going to be able to show because it looks a bit complicated. Well, not complicated, but it looks a little bit long uh, in comparison um, to other mods. So we're going to go as far as we can with it. Um, I actually don't know where the court wizard's place is in this place. Um, I actually don't think I've been really in Miss Vale Keep much. Okay, so that's the Yarl's quarters. That's the barracks. I would assume maybe in the barracks. Let's go in the barracks and see whether it's in here. God might get nervous. No, it doesn't look like it's in here. Yeah, I know, I killed him. I was the one that killed him. I'm also not thieving, I'm literally looking for a spell that I don't know where it is because I haven't been in this place. Uh, right. So I just noticed that Miss Vale, uh, the um, Dragonborn's keep thing is actually based on Miss Vale. Um, keep. Alright, what about in here? Aha! Uh -huh. There it is, right. Let's use the book. Um, there we go, Fenrir the Firewolf. And then we'll go outside into Riften to summon him up. And just see how cool this is. Um, because I do love my Fenris and I do love my Firewolves. So, I think it was, what, Conjuration? Fenrir the Firewolf. Wrong hand. Boom. With that howl as well. Yeah, shut up. That is pretty sick. I love that. That is pretty cool. Alright, um... Let's get my Soul Reaver back out, because that thing is weird, and also really, really cool. 
Sorry for darkness. Alright. So the next mod, the final mod of this episode, that we'll see how far we can get in a reasonable amount of time, is all the way here. Castle Volkier, I think that's how you pronounce it. Volkier, Volkier, something like that. Basically the vampire place. And as we know from the Dawnguard DLC, if you guys have finished it, this place is all in rubble because it, yeah, there was a big ass siege. Now, theoretically, I don't know how this mod works. This should clear up or be clear, or you can clear it up with a pickaxe. So I've got a pickaxe with me. We'll see how it really works because to me it looks pretty neat. Looks like it's already cleared up in here because you do have some Dawn Guard that also come in here if you're part of the Dawn Guard. And then if you're vampires, then your vampire thralls would be with you. Um, okay, so you can see, clean this area up. With a pickaxe, do you actually get anything or does it just clear it up or what? What does it do? It has a long ass loading screen, uh, like back screen, but it does take away the rubble. So, apparently this can take quite a while, I guess, because there's probably a lot of rubble everywhere. But, if you want to clean Castle Volkia, um, there you go. Now, the North Tower, I don't actually know where the North Tower is. Um, I think that's where you fought. Is that where you fought the um, Vampire Lord? No, it's not here. You can see there's a lot of rubble over here. Oh, he's got the uh, Blood Altar, which still looks really, really cool. Uh, Ancient Lord Bow stuff. See, I don't know how to get there, but I need to get to the North Tower. Um, I wonder what the North Tower is, the um, tower near the under bit. Or it might be here. It could very well just be here. Um. It might just be this. I don't know. No, it doesn't look like it's just this. I don't even think I've been up here. Um. Okay, so I'm going to keep trying to find it, but basically somewhere there is uh, the North Tower, wherever the fuck that is, um, is converted into a player home, apparently. The problem is, where the hell is the North Tower? Uh, this is all dusty and all that, so it doesn't look like it's there. That's all blocked off. And this goes under. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out of this. And I'm going to go to the um, other place where the uh, soul can, soul can thing is. Um, I'm going to go to the balcony and see whether it's this. Another less serious study. Because it just says that in the North Tower it's converted to a player home. This does not look like it's been converted to a player home. It's still the Soul Can. You've still got um, Valerica. I don't know how to pronounce her name. And this obviously goes into the under place where again you there apparently is rubble as well somewhere around here. So I have no idea what they mean by the um, North Tower Play home because I don't see it at all but yeah that's um, that's really going to be all the mods so you can clear up loads of the rubble and stuff in here you got Fenrir who doesn't seem to like this place for whatever reason um, let's, let's get Fenrir into some combat shall we we can't find the uh, thingy, which sucks. I don't want to go into the soul can. It doesn't look like it's this place. This is obviously a study. 
So doesn't look like it's this place. Don't suppose there's another no, this is broken up, so ain't gonna be that place. I don't wanna jump off there. Alright, so let's go and get some combat. So if I remember correctly Try and remember a um Bave this place has some um things. Alright, so let's summon up Fenrir again. Like so. And let's hope that this place does have some stuff. Yep, it does. I was right. So let's watch Fenrir go. So he's invulnerable. He doesn't do that much damage, which kind of sucks, as you can see. He doesn't really do that much damage. However, he is bloody cool. And also has a hitbox. And I'm not but being burnt. Because, you know, logic. I actually can't get in. I can't actually get in. Fenrir, thank you. And boom. Now you see, look at the blood. Look at the blood. Fenrir. Yeah, how for victory, how for victory, motherfucker. You know, there should be more, shouldn't there? Yeah, I was going to say, there should be more. I didn't think it was just one. I thought it was like four of them. Hey, my one-handed increased. Let's kill that motherfucker. Fenrir is lost. Oh, he's coming. He's pretty damn quick. And he just looks bloody badass. So, yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this mod episode. Uh, I know they're not the most entertaining mods in the world. Um, I thought, like, Castle Volcair 1 was going to be better than that. Uh, I'll be honest. Um, and, yeah, uh, like I said, I haven't really been playing too much Skyrim, so I haven't really got very many mods. Uh, I should probably go back on the original one. The only problem with the original one and someone actually commented um, in my old Skyrim mod uh, episodes that I did uh, like four year, three, four years ago um, is I didn't put any of the um, like links down or like say what the mods were or whatever uh, back then which is great and all but I can you know do it this time and whatnot. But with the old mods uh, on the old Skyrim, some of them have been removed. Uh, in fact, quite a lot of them have been removed, um, or just plainly have like changed name, don't exist, whatever. Um, so trying to do that is going to be hard, but I'll try my best. Uh, so it might be that some of the mods are like um, unaccessible. I would put download links, but then obviously that's you know almost like copywriting on the author, and I don't want to do that. So. Um, if mods like that arise, then that's what's going to happen. So, anyway guys, from me and Fenrir here, peace out.